are here today at the offices of the Brattleboro Development Credit Corporation to film a short video introducing you to the work of the BDCC and the Southeastern Vermont Economic Development Strategies. My name is Adam Grinold and I am the Executive Director here at the BDCC. Today's video is not meant to be a comprehensive survey of all of the work we do. Economic development is dynamic, complex, and multifaceted. But really, when you boil it all down, it is simply about creating the economic conditions that allow for the increased prosperity and quality of life of all of our residents. We are constantly looking for new and better ways to communicate, and today's video should help put a human face and feel to the work we do. In just a minute, we're gonna head inside where you'll get to meet the BDCC Board of Trustees and the SEVIDS Board of Directors, along with a few of our key staff who work here primarily in the offices. Then we're gonna head out, do a tour of the region, where you get to meet the rest of the team and a few of the hundreds of folks that we work with each year. So I do hope today's video helps connect you with the work we do. Let's get started and head inside. My name is Chris Plante and I am the Business and Grant Assistant. Part of my job is supporting Adam, whether that be scheduling meetings with employers and business contacts, or with bigger projects like lookbooks, which show businesses looking to relocate why Wyndham County is the place for them. Another part of my job is working with Bobby on grant management, compliance, and reporting. Hi, I'm Laura Sevilla. I'm the Director of Regional Strategies here at the BDCC. I've been here since 2011 working with the Sevens Board on creating regional strategies. Uh, that manifests itself largely in our comprehensive economic development strategy, federal plan, five-year plan. Uh, got a copy of our latest one here on our desk. Uh, so I spent, spent a lot of time looking at data, talking with our board and uh, folks throughout the region, assessing where we're at, where we're trying to go, and the best way to get there, strategies. In addition, I also uh, really love to work on the BDCC's newsletter, which I'm currently working on for next week. Hi, my name is Melissa Salzman. I'm the new project manager with the BDCC, and I just started this week. I'll be working on a ton of key projects with the whole team, and I can't wait to get started. Hi, my name is Christy Beatty, and I am the Pipelines and Pathways Coordinator here at the BDCC. Um, I work very closely with guidance counselors and educators within the four Wyndham County High Schools to connect students to uh, local employers, activities, classes, and other experiences that prepare them for um, successful post-secondary education and career options. Um, so it's pretty fun. Um, and today, I am headed off to the New Hampshire Construction Days with uh, a teacher from the CTE Center, John DiMatteo, who's invited me. I went last year. I'm hoping to run a backhoe. Very excited. Here we go. Hi there, my name is Alex Beck and I'm the Workforce and Education Program Manager with the Brattleboro Development Credit Corporation. My role is to connect employer opportunities and what we know about the private sector to educational opportunities and other community members throughout the region. Hi, I'm Sarah Lang. I'm the Talent Specialist at BDCC. I coordinate the Southern Vermont Young Professionals and the Paid Internship Program. Both programs strive to increase the size and quality of the workforce. So we connect college students with regional employers and we provide a professional and social network for young people beginning their life here. Hi, I'm Jen Stromston. I'm Director of Programs at BDCC. I help the people who do all of the work that we do with small businesses, entrepreneurs, students, and um, working people in the area. But I'm also um, involved with a program that's very special near and dear to our hearts which works with communities. It's a Southern Vermont Economy Project. So I'm here in Reedsboro today with Sue Bailey from the Reedsboro Hometown Development 
and she's going to tell us a little bit about some of the projects that they're doing. Um, but this has been a really special program that we've had going for a few years and has been refunded by USDA. It's allowing us to work with towns across southern Vermont, build capacity, help them move forward projects that are critical to reaching their local goals. Hi, good morning. I'm, I'm Susan Bailey of Greensboro Hometown Redevelopment and I'm really pleased to uh, be part of the Southern Vermont Economic Project and have been since, uh, since the beginning. And they continue to offer uh, important aspects of how to work with projects, um, how to build on communities, how to make uh, stronger communities. Here in Reedsboro, Reedsboro Hometown Redevelopment's primary project is the E.J. Bullock Building, which dates back to about 1890. My name is Bobby Kilburn. I'm the Director of Finance and Grant Management for the Brattleboro Development Credit Corporation. I partner with the BDCC team on strategic decision making and operations as we work to enhance the quality of our work in programming and build capacity. We also support the development of capacity in the surrounding Southern Vermont region. The development of capacity allows people to access opportunities, allows our businesses to succeed and our communities to thrive. I'm here today with Gary Fox in the town of Rockingham, the village of Bells Falls. Gary acts as the development director for the town as well as the executive director for Bells Falls Area Development Corporation. Thank you for joining us today, Gary. I've been working with Gary, the town, and the Bellows Falls Area Development Corporation in the Brownfields cleanup of the Robertson Paper Mill site located on Island Street, now an available and clean site for future development. Additionally, we use this development opportunity as a mechanism to transfer knowledge and build capacity when it comes to grant management and administration, project management, and the opportunity to connect to others working on similar projects in the Southern Vermont region. We have successfully transferred all grant management and administration responsibilities to Gary on behalf of BFADC, as well as for town-related projects that may involve state or federal funding. Hi, I'm Marty Brown, Director of Business Acceleration and Community Capital Development. My area of focus is small business resources in the region. Whether it's validating an idea, working on a business plan, trying, trying to obtain funding to help grow your business. I'm standing outside Putney General Store because they access our rural micro-entrepreneur loan program to help grow their operations. I also help facilitate the Community Facilities Support Program for essential community facility projects in the region. If you have a project, give me a call. You might find me in here. It's kind of my office away from the office. Hello, I'm James Walker, EDCC's Real Estate Manager. I get to manage 500,000 square feet of leasable business industrial space. Some of these tenants are incubated. Uh, two of these tenants, which you'll see a little film roll today from, are Vermont Vermouth, who is a new startup and will be making vermouth here in the business park at 22 Brown Court. And the other is Food Connects. Food Connects is a nonprofit food distributor. Uh, they were looking for a location to centralize all their cooler and freezer space and they have been able to do so here at the business park location. So that's the team. Again, not a comprehensive review of all that we do. Instead, just a little insight into the day in the life here at the BDCC. Our region is facing down significant economic and demographic threats. And yet, every day we see examples of individuals, businesses, and organizations finding ways to overcome those challenges, thriving here in Southern Vermont. Every business, every job, every student, and every Vermonter counts. Together, our team looks forward to hearing from you and working with you to help make Vermont a state of opportunity.